what is up youtube welcome back to the channel to the arsenal road to glory i don't really know what i'm gonna name this channel anymore i'm just gonna be going over custom tactics or actual systems of actual football teams i'm basically bringing coaches tactics into the fifa game with a little bit of a twist uh this is my arsenal first owner besides this guy i bought this guy uh road to glory i just been I've been trying to use this team in the elite or in Division One, trying to get back to the elite division. So it's really hard to play up against COD squads with this team. So that's how you know the tactics have to work. But the tactics that we're going to be going over is uh, Dortmund, Borussia Dortmunds. It's it's hard to explain what kind of formation that they use because they kind of they kind of they have principles of how they want to play. And they adapt to whatever team they're playing up against, right? So technically, they're supposed to line up like this, 4-3-3. <laughs> but the wingers were just too wide for me. I started off with this. I experimented with this. And the wingers were way too wide. Because in, in the game, in, uh, in the actual Dortmund system, the wingers aren't really wingers. They're usually Julian Brandt and Marcos Royce. So they usually act like center forwards, almost like cams, because they make a box midfield. Um, so with this formation, with the 4-3-2 one, that better suits them because it allows your left forward and your right forward to kind of act like uh, cams, per se. So they end up making the the box, box system, right? So uh, it's kind of hard to say what formation they use because they also pivot sometimes or they change into a 4-1-4-1. Uh, so they change into, where is it? This one right here, they change the 4141 when they're defending. Uh, sometimes when they're attacking, they even attack like this, but they make the right mid and the left mid kind of come inside, which is usually usually Julian Brandt and Marco Royce. So I just left it here because it's the easiest one to kind of combine both worlds together and make it a little bit more meta so you can actually use it in FIFA because I was using this one with their tactics and I was getting wrecked on division one. So with this one, uh, I played about 15, 20 games with them. I had about 70% success rate with them. So they're pretty good. They're not the most meta, uh, but they are definitely, definitely fun to use, fun to attack with. Okay. So before I get into the instructions, I'm, I'm going to kind of explain how this goes. Um, I will put a picture somewhere in this on on the screen in a little bit of how they actually supposed to line up in game so let me explain it first that way you can kind of understand what i mean so you, uh the way they line up or when they're attacking they have their two center backs uh which is usually nicholas sule and what's his, what's the other guy's name slaughterbeck right they have their cdm which is amre chan he'll drop between defenders so he'll drop deep make a back three they'll have their both wing backs attacking which is rafa guerrero and then wolf or whatever his name is uh they'll be attacking to the wings to the flanks so they're always on joining the attack overlap right so because they're always attacking you have your two center mids uh your right center mids they're more of your box to box center mids so one of them is i believe his name is oscan i don't really know how to pronounce his name and the other one is uh bellingham and you know how good bellingham was for Dortmund, so he'll be attacking, uh, defending. He'll be your more box to box, uh, almost like a cam, just trying to attack, trying to add more players into the box, right? Then you have your right forward and your left forward, which is usually Marco Royce on the left and uh, Julian Brandt on the right. And then you have your striker, which is normally Haller, but you know, he got unfortunately he got injured or not injured, but you know, he got dealt a really bad hand and had testicular cancer, so he had to overcome it. So they really missed him. Maybe that's probably one of the reasons why they didn't get the Bundesliga title, but if not, they would have actually got it because uh, they were overperforming for what they were for the longest time. So they kind of sub subbed this striker in and out, Dan Daniel Malin, whoever, right? So, yeah. Uh, picture will be somewhere right here, or I probably already posted it somewhere on there where it shows what I mean, um, who's where. Again, I'll go over it again just in case I post a picture here. Uh, your two center backs, you have your CDM that drops deep and to combine in the back three. Then you have your right back, left back that act like wingers, uh, so they attack. Then you have your two box-to-box -box center mids, which are um, basically in the same position, 
where the CDM was. The CDM dropped deep to make the back three. Then you have your two right forward, left forward, which act like cams. Uh, and then you have your striker, right? So almost like a 4-1-4-1. Or I guess you can look at it as like a 3-2-4-1 or something like that as well uh, in the attack. When you defend, you're literally going to defend just as is. Uh, you can make it into a 4-4-2 defensive shape, but I'm only going to leave it like this because this is a counter-attacking formation, right? So let's get into the attacks or to the tactics. Uh, defensive style balance with 37-72. This is where I put my FIFA... Uh, slight twist into the actual tactics because if you don't do this, uh, it's kind of, it's really hard to defend. They def they use a high block to defend, uh, but they do press. But I experiment to press after possession loss and pressure on heavy touch with this formation. But it's really hard to defend with because you do have your two wing backs attacking, and your CDM doesn't drop all the way deep. So to make it a little bit more uh, meta for FIFA or usable for FIFA, I should say. I have it on 37 width, uh, 40, uh, 72 dead. If you don't like the auto outside strap, then you can drop it to 70. But please keep a high block. So on new gen, keep it on 70 debt. If you're on old gen, you can drop this down to about 65, uh, 67, maybe even 63, but no lower than that because after that you're kind of gonna you're gonna drop into a mid block, and they like to defend with a high block, right? Uh, on new gen too, you might be better off doing 40 width, but I like 37 width because I play old gen. Uh, but yeah, those are the only things, two things you change on there on the defensive style. Build up play balance. They do a slow build up, but slow build up doesn't work in this game. I've tried it. It'll work on a five at the back, uh, but it doesn't work on a four at the back formation or a counter attacking formation. So I just put it on balance. Uh, it, I mean, it works, but if you don't, if you're not good at sending players on L1 triggers and sending them on manual runs, then there's no point of you putting on slow build up. Just being completely honest with you, I'm trying to make it where you guys can actually enjoy the game, play the game, and not suffer and struggle because your players are running at you and you're getting pressed and then you don't know how to get out the press. You know what I mean? Chance creation. If you're on old gen, you can start off with balance. I like balance on this formation because I let the instructions do the work for me. Uh, if you're on new gen, you might want to do direct passing. On old gen, if you don't like balance, then switch to direct passing. But don't change it to four runs in this formation because you, you need your overlapping fullbacks to make the runs for you. So balance on old gen. If you don't like it, then switch it to direct passing. New gen, direct passing. That's it. Uh, with 47, I had it wider, but uh, I feel like with 47, it allows the right forward and left forward to actually stay in the middle of the park, and that's where you need them. You don't need them to move too much uh, because they will, be, they will be playing as like your quote-unquote cams. Your playmakers, the people who basically bring the ball from the midfield onto the attack to try to get uh, cutback goals, any 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 type of goals you could possibly get, right? Players in the box five, corners and free kicks one on one. <laughs> so players you should use. I'll go over this really really fast. Uh, meta goalie, please get meta center backs that have at least 85, 86 pace, maybe 87 pace on your center backs, plus a shadow. Because you will be the, you will be vulnerable in the defense. So this is a very attacking formation. Just keep that in mind. You have to outscore your opponent. So you'll be hit on a lot on the counter. So just make sure you have two very fast center backs. Uh, right back, left back. Make sure they're meta, full on meta. Frame Pong, Davies are perfect. Sinchenko gets the job done. Uh, Jordi Alba will work. Just good, good overall players. Marcos Llorente will be perfect over here with Theo Hernandez. Somebody like that. Di Lorenzo might even get the job done. Uh, CDM, make sure you get a medium high right here. Please try to get a medium high. High high will not work because you need them to drop deep. So medium high, like a Vieira, a Tonali, a Jorginho, somebody like that. And then your right, uh, set your right two center mids. They can be one uh more defensive or well rounded, and one can be an attacker. So for me, I have uh, Odegaard, which can play basically center mid, sometimes as a cam, but if I slap a shadow, he'll get the job done as a center mid, uh, and he has really good Travella shots. Your right cam is more, or your right center mid is more of my cam, more of my box-to-box, -box, like a Bellingham, somebody that can really dribble, that can attack, that can steal the ball, uh, and just connect the play. Then you have your two playmakers on your left forward, right forward. So for me, that's Martinelli Perez. They use Royce. They use Brandt. People that are really good with the ball to dribble, like a Neymar, like a Musiala, players like that. Paye might even get the job done. And then a striker. They usually play with a target man. But in this formation, you can play almost anybody at striker. So I play Thierry Henry. He does the job for me there. Uh, you can play 
Lewandowski, Kane, you could play Tammy Abraham, you could play Marco Royce, you could play Mbappe there, you could play Alawar in there. You can literally play anybody you want. Just make sure they're lethal at finishing because when they do get into the box, they will get a lot of cutbacks. So he needs to be there uh, to finish those. So instructions, goalie comes across the sweeper keeper. Both center backs stay back while attacking. That is it. Do not touch those. Uh, right back, join the attack overlap. Left back, join the attack overlap. Now, before I continue, this makes it very, very attacking when you have join the attack overlap on both of these. So, if you're going to use this formation the full game, this is what I was doing. I was going in there and starting this off with stay back while attacking on both of them. But when I get into the game, I will turn on the tactics, the D-pad tactics, attacking fullbacks. So that means I could turn them on and off at will. So whenever I'm starting off the game, I'll start it off with stay back while attacking, fill out my, por my opponent, kind of suss him out, see what he's doing. Okay, once I figure out what formation he's doing, I switch him on to join the attack. Then they're darting forward. I get a goal in, maybe two goals, turn it off. Now you defend, and now you're stable. Get it? So learn how to turn on the D-pad tactics, uh, attacking fullbacks, and learn how to turn them on and turn them off. If you don't know how to turn them on, then by all means, put join the attack. But if you do know how to turn them on, then turn them on and just put stay back while attacking, okay? That's one of the biggest takeaways you need to get from this video. Your CDM or your center center mid is going to be drop between defenders, cover center, so he will drop deep. In between both center backs, he will stay at cover center. He will be your recovery player. If you can put like a Vieira type of player there, that will be freaking perfect. Uh, Jorginho even gets the ball, the job done for me there, and he's not even the best, but he got the job done against like uh, basically freaking trophy, trophy titans, R9s, and Neymar's team of the season, and you know, players like that. <laughs> Your left, cat, your left center mid is going to be stay back while attacking, cover wing, and stay on the edge of the box. Uh, the reason why I have them on cover wing is because they need to overcompensate for the fact that your left back and your right back will be attacking a lot. Uh, I'm not making this formation defend in a 4-4-2, so you don't have to either. So just put them on cover wing. So if your left back, right back get caught off uh, like on a, basically on a counter attack, your center mids will be there to basically help you out to defend that side. Stay on the edge of the box. I just have it there for Travellas. I don't want him to run out inside the box when he's more lethal outside of the box doing Travella shots. That's just me. Right mid will be, or right center mid will be stay back while attacking cover wing balance. So he can kind of go into the box if he needs to. He can drift inside if he wants to, kind of like a Bellingham. Your right forward is going to be stay central. That is it. And then your left forward is going to be stay central. That is it. I don't put basic defensive support. I don't switch it to come back on defense because I don't want them to come back on defense. If I do, then you can. By all means, you can put on come back on defense if you need a little bit more help defending. Uh, that will allow you to defend in a 4-1-4-1. Uh, kind of like how they defend in real life. But for me, I want to make it a little bit more counterattacking, so I leave it on basic. Uh, but you can try come back on defense if you want. And then striker will be stay central, getting behind, stay forward. So that was literally Holland whenever he was playing at Dortmund. That those were his instructions. He'll get in behind. You send him on through balls. He's by himself. So try to make sure you get a lethal, lethal striker that can finish everything there. Okay. All right. So that is it for these tactics. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or you want to see me play these. Uh, if I do get uh, somebody commenting down below that they want to see me play these uh, these tactics in Division 1 or something, then I'll record the whole gameplay and post it for you guys, all right? But those are the tactics for Borussia Dortmund's uh, basically hybrid formation. is a 4-3-2-1, basically 4-1-4-1 hybrid, 3-2, or what do they play? Like a 3-2... Three, two, four, one, something like that. Basically, that's what it is. All right, let me know down below who else, what other tactics you want me to get working on. I do have Wenger's, Arteta's tactics. Wenger's, Arteta's tactics. Wenger's, Arsenal's tactics for the Invincibles coming out soon. And I do, I am working on Liverpool's tactics with the inverted Trent Alexander-Arnold playing as a center mid. Uh, working on that soon. So I'll post them in a few days. Just give me some time so I can perfect them. Perfect them. All right, guys. Catch you, catch you guys on the next one. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.